We have here a 2014 Volkswagen Jetta. It is a 2.0 liter TDI CJAA letter code. And the customer's concern is it's steaming out the tailpipe. He brought it to us for a head gasket. He had it at another shop and they said it needed a head gasket. And we're going to do some quick confirmation and then uh, probably end up doing a head gasket. Uh, as we were pulling it in the other day, it was fogging the place. I mean, it was just pouring out everywhere. I'll try and um, uh, take this for a drive and get it warmed up because it really doesn't start steaming until it's warmed up. But uh, the customer did drive it here and it was fogging the, the, the whole neighborhood. And then when we pulled it in, the whole shop was just completely full of steam and smoke. Although this customer is pretty sure they need a head gasket, and I wouldn't argue with them. I'm seeing kind of seems that way myself. We got to do our due diligence, at least with thought process, and we need to make sure there's nothing else that this could be. And uh, the number one thing that comes to mind, and I've actually seen it before, is the EGR cooler leaking um, coolant into the EGR system, which could make it pass through the intake system and burn and steam out the tailpipe, or it could leak directly into the EGR and go out the exhaust and uh, that's a that's a better scenario um, but the only test to do for that is to basically pull the hoses off the EGR cooler and see if um, see if maybe exhaust comes out the EGR cooler hoses or bypass the EGR cooler entirely see if the steaming problem goes away so I think that's what we're going to do. We'll put it up in the air and see how hard it is to bypass that EGR cooler. Sun's kind of behind that. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, you can certainly smell it through the camera, can't you? That's very clearly coolant and antifreeze. Rev it up. More. Yeah, that's coolant. I'll have Bob install a fitting in there to see if... Um, that's as a test only we're not bypassing it permanently that probably wouldn't be good on the dpf but neither is coolant flowing through the dpf and the cat um so we'll i'll have bob bypass it i think i have a fitting just for that and there's the fitting we're going to use to bypass it so here we have removed both the hoses from the egr cooler that one and that one and we put that coupler in the egr cooler's place actually worked out relatively nice to where we can uh, drive the car safely. We're just doing this as a test to see if this thing continues to steam out the tailpipe after we bypass it. Because if it does, that would indicate that the EGR cooler itself, which is very hard to see because it's behind the axle, that would indicate the EGR cooler itself is passing coolant into the exhaust stream and that's what's making the steaming. So I'm going to have Bob drive this to see if the steaming goes away. Still steaming right now. Of course the tailpipe's going to have a whole lot of uh, coolant in it. And so we may have to drive it significantly to get the steaming to actually stop. Got any wrinkly shirts? Put them behind the car. Still steaming. How far did you drive this? Uh, I took it on a highway run. Okay, one more run. Let's see if it clears up any, because it didn't seem to clear up much. All right. That's my bus. Rev it up some. Man, that's a hundred times better. Looks like it's a hundred times better. How long did it take for it to clear up? Uh, about halfway through the trip. Uh, we probably go ahead and drive it one more time just to be sure. And uh, But uh, it really looks to me like that was the EGR cooler. That's going to save the customer a ton of money. Okay, this is the Grey Passat that was steaming out of the tailpipe that the customer thought it was a head gasket. And we ended up putting the EGR... Uh, we ended up bypassing the EGR cooler as a test. 
The customer has determined he's going to fix this himself by either replacing the EGR cooler or some other method of fix. But um, this is a TDI diesel gate car and the emissions are kind of crappy on these. Um, so other options might be better than actually replacing the EGR cooler. But I want to point out that if a mechanic wasn't very diligent in his diagnosis or at least his thought process, because there was really no diagnosis other than the actual process of bypassing the cooler on this one, if a mechanic wasn't diligent in his thought process and didn't think it through, he could pull the head on this and cost the customer a whole bunch of money that need, didn't need to be spent. Um, I have seen EGR coolers fail on TDIs a few times, probably this is the fourth maybe third, but um, it really, really feels good to save a customer a whole bunch of money because another shop told him it needed a head gasket and he was convinced it needed a head gasket and uh, he, he called pricing a head gasket. If you enjoyed this video, you learned anything from it, be sure and click the like button. And if you want to donate to the continued production of these videos, find the donate icon on my website at www whatever it is, www.kansascitytdi.com and find the donate icon and you can uh, send a few bucks my way. If you want to watch some more of my videos, there'll be one right there, one right there. And please subscribe. Thanks for watching.